who is a nice girl because for the longest i could remember i was having a reflection of my life lately and i realized that it's not been quite long i started to exit my nice girl era the nice girl era is literally the era where you are so agreeable with every other person's opinion you are so agreeable with every other person's decisions you have been so um um, kept in the shadows of wanting to please everybody wanting to think about everybody's perspective before thinking about yourself now because of the natural nurturing nation of women we naturally tend to um, want to care for other people's opinion want to want to nurture people want to present ourselves in a more feminine light to people we want to always show that we are meek we want to always show that um we are a certain way and that is the natural nurturing nation of women but i come to realize that for you to step into your dreams for you to step into power for you to step into becoming the best version of yourself for you to step into becoming who god wants you to be you have to quit that nice girl era the era of allowing people making decisions for you i think i was having a chat with a friend and then she was telling me um, she has a bit of an helicopter parent. Her parents literally make all the decisions for her all her life. They didn't, they didn't really give her that chance to have an independent mindset. Growing up, she literally wanted to do a lot of things. But her mom really didn't let her explore, honestly. Her mom didn't let her make decisions while she was in school. She, her mom was literally still in control of, of her finances. Her mom was literally still in charge of her bank account. Her mom was telling her every single thing that she needs to do. And recently, she she wants to pull out of that um that grip of from her mom. She wants to start owning her life. But the the nice girl syndrome is literally holding her back. She's always so. Um, she's still in a confined space. Let me just use that word. She's still in a confined space. She she really don't know how to like get out of that grip of being the nice girl. Always thinking about what people say about her. Always thinking about people's opinion. Always pleasing other persons before. And if you watch my video when I said um, the decisions I will be making before 25, one of those decisions is to literally live my life for me, to own my life. To make my own decisions like not to give a them about what people think about me and unapologetically do me like the nice girls do not make money we're gonna go straight into that but i'm just trying to give an introduction and tell you guys how being a nice girl can literally disrupt you from being who you need to be in life like honestly now i also talked with um another of my friend and she was reflecting on her life also the fact that um when she was about to get admission into school she wanted to study a particular course but her parents wanted her to study another course and for that reason she actually had to do what her parents wanted and ever since then she she literally now sort of regrets not doing what she wanted and she, she's just been in jeopardy because she just graduated and she's just feeling like how am I supposed to get the pieces of my life together? How am I supposed to um, be who I want to be when all my life I have been living for my parents? And I feel it's really time girls need to start coming into um, a place in their life where they can make their own decisions, where they can take bold decisions. Like, I think when I was much younger, uh, my mom doesn't really allow us wear trousers and make our hair with attachment because my mom is a very strong spiritual person and it was same for my elder siblings but just like my name unique i have always been known to make my own unique decisions i think it got to a point in my life where i knew i was about going into the university no sorry the polytechnic my f- first diploma i was about going into the polytechnic and I really saw my friends wearing trousers and I really liked it on them. And I knew my mom didn't want me to like wear trousers, but I didn't want to live in denial. Like I didn't want to live my life like I'm living it for somebody else. I knew I liked this thing. And then one day I, I literally got trousers and I, I was wearing it around the house. Then it was very prohibited in my house. You're not supposed to wear trousers. My mom condemns trousers, although now she literally now understands certain things and it's open. I literally started wearing it, and I know I remember my sister decided looking at me with these eyebrows and said, like, 
why are you wearing trousers and all but i did not stop doing it now it's not me being rebellious it's me becoming who i want to be it's me not living in denial it's me literally being who i want to be i feel a lot of ladies need to come into this realization that being the nice girl would not end you at where you need to be like i got to a point in my life i knew that i really can't believe in a double like faced life now i know a lot of my friends in university they are so flamboyant they like makeovers they like wearing certain kind of clothes and they do it in the university but when they are going home they are not really doing it now i feel well that is really i wouldn't say it's bad totally because i believe that you are literally showing respect to your parents but in a way i feel coming out to your parents and tell them mom dad i know you are pastors but i really love to put makeup makeovers on my face and they might not accept it but i just feel it's time that people learn to speak out for themselves so especially ladies learn to say that this is what you want like, like literally stop being the people pleaser like people pleasing behaviors would not lead you anywhere i don't know who needs to hear this or this is not supposed to be the whole context of this video but i don't know why i'm diverting diverting rather a bit learn to stop pleasing people that's literally what the nice girls do now let's come back to the reason why i'm making this video i realized that in this life until you've learned how to be unapologetic and take tough decisions and take very bold decisions as a, as a woman you will literally not go far now guys nice girls do not make money i realized that a lot of persons really enjoy me giving my giving them my ideas i used to literally share my ideas for free and just become the nice girl i want people to love me i want people to see that i can be of help to them until i realized that nice girls do not make money you should be building a community of persons that are interested in your products your service or whatever you offer providing them value every day you should also be posting your business your content whatever you do whether it's a physical product or a digital product unapologetically on social media without thinking about anybody's opinion and you also need to start monetizing your knowledge guys nice girls do not make money you need to start i got to a point in my life where i knew that i can't keep like doing this particular thing i really want to start owning my life so i decided that no if everybody wants to meet me because they feel like i have an idea of, on this thing i might as well learn to monetize my knowledge because you cannot keep coming to me to feed off me and then i'm not getting paid for it like nice girls do not make money you need to be un unapologetic with your decisions in life if you really want to step into that bold light you need to learn to tell people that this is the price for my business tell your family member that this is the price for my business nice girls do not make money now guys i really don't want to talk too much about this stuff because i really just wanted us to have a chit chat but i'm going to give you guys tips and tips on how to stop being the nice girl step out of your people pleasing behavior and start living the life that you are supposed to do now i think the first thing i have to talk about um how to exit your nice girl era to start getting focused on your goals and not just being focused on your goals understanding why you are being focused on your goals i think your why would help you rechannel your your energy to the reason why you need to be bold and unapologetic in whatever you are doing now when i notice that i have this nice girl syndrome of wanting to please people i'm always very gullible people will just reach out to me like oh please help me this oh please help me that and i'll just give in now don't get me wrong it's really nice to be a good person but when it comes to your business when it comes to your ideas don't give it out for free nice girls do not make money you have to get focused on your goals and why are you getting focused on your goals because you have a goal because you have where you are going to that is the reason why you're being focused so the first step to leaving that your nice girl era is to get intentional about your goals i decided to focus on my goals i decided to draft out plans this is what i want for myself in the next five years this is where i want to be how do i achieve it i have to achieve it by opening my eyes learning how to tell people no because i know that nice girls do not go far learn how to tell people no it's very very important if you really want to go far in life i have to learn how to pe tell people no learn how to bargain 
I don't care if you are doing a nine to five job or whatever. Learn how to bargain your salary. Learn how to talk to people that ask for a raise for your salary if need be. Because if you are giving value, you should be getting paid. Nice girls do not make money. Now, that being said, focusing on, on your goals and knowing why you're focusing on your goals because you have so much value you need to give the world. That is the reason why you're getting focused on your goals. That's the first way you can exit your nice girl era. Number two, like I've always, I also said half or a bit of it rather, learning how to say no to anything that doesn't really relate to you. I had to get intentional. Before now, I struggle with t- telling people no a lot. But lately, I've come to realization that, ha, huh, I can't keep being the yes, 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 yes kind of girl. Like, I had to step into my own apologetic, I don't give a them era whenever something um somebody wants to tell like for instance if i have a particular um idea i want to share with someone and i share with uh, share it with you rather and you tell me oh this thing i don't think it's gonna work out I'm like fine you give me your reasons i also take your reasons i go wait i pray to god and if god tells me go i go you have to learn to own your life i learned to tell i, I learned how to tell people no I learned the fact that I don't always have to be agreeable with everything people tell me. Like, I don't have to be agreeable. Your standard of living can never be my standard of living. Like, I'm not going to, like, live my life for someone else because of someone said this particular stuff. I'm not going to, like, live my life based on your own perspective. Your perspective is your perspective. My perspective is my perspective. Like, I have to learn to say no. Right now in my life, if you come and tell me that um this is what's best for you and i know that this is not what's best for me i will tell you no that's why sometimes when i see people being um forced to make decisions i'm wondering like where is your sense of individuality where is your sense of self like why would you feel your ideas wouldn't work because someone told you it would not work like I got to learn how to say no unapologetically, guys. You need to stop being the nice girl. Nice girls do not go far in life. Like, I noticed that every single time I say no and I do me, there's a part of me that is fulfilled. There's a part of me that remembers that I am the owner of my life like there's a part of me that remembers that i am the owner of my life and i don't take it for granted like you need to learn to own your life own your decisions like it is very very important that you learn to own your life own your decisions and live your life unapologetically now the next thing i'm going to talk about um how to exit your nice get era is to learn to get intentional about monetizing your knowledge I know a lot of persons do not really talk about this too much, but I feel it's time we really talk about how much ladies give out and get less in return when it comes to money. Everyone in this life has something valuable that people will be willing to pay for. A nice girl would never want to make money off her knowledge. You want to give it out for free because you are you think you are doing charity. You can't keep doing charity work with your knowledge, guys learn how to monetize your passion learn how to monetize your knowledge don't let people make you feel like oh um why can't you teach me this thing for free or why can't you um help me with this stuff for free no because nice girls do not make money you need to be unapologetic with your business like take it so like be so bold in your decision that you don't even give a them like monetize your knowledge like without even looking back tell your friends to pay it is very necessary it's your knowledge like i got to a point in my life i knew that i can't keep living like this like and it, and it wasn't really out of the um mindset of luck it was more out of the mindset of understanding my what understanding my what like it got like it, it really got to me when i see people want to just reach out to me get my ideas get knowledge for free but I wasn't really seeing people that really wanted to like really wanted me to grow. Honestly. If you're the kind of person that is nice, that everybody can reach out to any single time that they want ideas, they want help, 
You would notice that people would never value your words. They will only come to you when they need something from you. So that is the reason why you need to monetize your knowledge. Because then you will also be getting something from it. Honestly, guys. I feel it's time that every lady realize how much of the bad girl you need to start becoming. Like, you need to exit the nice girl era. Now, I think I need to, to throw more light in the aspect of relationship. Nice girls often end up with men that really like they, they really would not pay much attention to you men that would literally put in zero effort into a relationship or would likely not want to commit and this is because you are so agreeable i think being an assertive lady sometimes is very necessary now why you should be feminine you should be soft you should have a soft aura as a lady but when it comes to making your decisions knowing what you want you need to be very bold in saying what you want like don't let anybody treat you like trash because you want to be a nice girl you want them to see the outlook or you, you want they, you want them to perceive you as being calm as being quiet as being well nurtured no you have to speak up for yourself you have to learn to speak up for yourself you have to let people know that they cannot do shit with you it's very very necessary like at this point in my life right now although i'm slightly a very assertive lady i really don't think i'm very calm i'm slightly assertive like i said but i don't think i can let anybody disrespect me like you cannot disrespect me like I would not even give you the chance to disrespect me because I respect myself very well. I could I conduct myself very well. But when it comes to the aspect of you disrespecting me, I would not take it, especially when it comes from a man. Nice girls allow disrespect. Nice girls allow people to talk shit to them. Nice girls want to play safe. You are in a relationship and a man is literally beating you, assaulting you molesting you and you are there because you believe that being the nice girl would literally pay off being the nice girl the calm girl learn to speak for yourself i think i have to say this a lot of girls don't know how to speak for themselves so a while ago i was um sort of involved in a particular situation where it felt like a particular person was trying to assault me and then he actually felt that he he was um he was a strong guy that nobody can do him anything and his outlook towards me was his outlook towards me, like the way he perceives my my personality was oh this very soft calm girl that doesn't really talk much this very soft girl so i can just literally just get my way guys when i literally show this guy the other aspect of me oh my god <laughs> i feel as a lady your countenance, your aura, your appearance should be given soft, feminine. But you know what? When it's time for you to be fierce, you need to be fierce. When it's time for you to be assertive, you need to be assertive. When it's time for you to speak out for yourself, you need to learn to speak out. Don't be the agreeable girl. Don't be the girl that is literally just saying, oh, yes, yes, yes to every single thing. If you're not, please say it. I got to a point in my life where I knew that I really cannot please people anymore. Like, I learned how to unapologetically express myself. I don't even care how you feel towards me. Like, I am too grown not to express how I feel. Like, I had to exit the nice girl era. Nice girls, guys, do not live the life that they are supposed to live. Learn how to express yourself. Now, I think this video is getting too long. I just really want to have a chit chat. Because I'm trying to stay consistent on my YouTube channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'm hoping and wondering why. But do have to hit the subscribe button. I'm still your baby girl, unique. And before I go, I just want to summarize all my key points. So guys, like I said, um, nice girls do not make money. In summary, you should be building a community of people, um, sharing them value every single day. You should. Be posting your content your business what are physical products digital products unapologetically on social media you should not be caring about what people think you should be able to stand up for yourself be bold speak you should learn how to say no unapologetically stop people pleasing behaviors guys 
I still remain your girl unique. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And I will be seeing you in my next YouTube video. Bye guys.